and releasing new information in the death of a man who went missing while hiking near Lake Tenkiller last summer. Several people were arrested and charged with murder, but those charges were later dropped. Two Works For You reporter Tony Russell spoke with family members tonight about the new turn in the investigation. He's been missing for more than a year. What happened to Matthew Fagan? Prosecutors charged the people they believe went hiking with him at Lake Tenkiller with murder, but dropped the charges right before trial this summer because of lack of evidence. Matthew's father, obviously frustrated. But I still have my son missing, okay? He's not nowhere to be found, okay? So, you know, no matter what happens to those people, I still get no closure. District Attorney Jack Thorpe says the people hiking with Fagan that summer day are still considered suspects. Now, his own investigators are looking for more evidence to build a solid case. We did not want to put ourselves in that situation. We didn't want the victim's family to be put in that situation. We want to make sure that we're doing this case right and we're bringing his killers to justice. There are still more questions than answers right now. And there have been multiple search efforts here along Lake Ten Killer. Not only have they conducted searches in the woods just off the Buzzard's Roost Nature Trail, but also the Cherokee Nation Marshal's dive team has gone into the lake looking for Fagan's body. Investigators are also looking into three different tips. Someone called saying a PT cruiser might have encountered the group hiking with Fagan the day he went missing. Then someone filed a report about a sighting of a red extended cab pickup around the time Fagan disappeared. Also, someone reported to the sheriff's office about the possibility of a body floating near the Cato Creek area. The family just wants to have a funeral for their son. Nobody ever realizes my boy's not home. I don't, I don't have closure until I can put him the proper rest. The DA now just went live with a dedicated tip line for people to help with the investigation. Near Lake Ten Killer, Tony Russell, Two Works For You. And the district attorney's office has set up a special tip line for the Matthew Fagan case. If you have any information, give them a call at 918-576-4853. We'll also have this information at KJRH.com.